Hey, what's up, guys? This is Smokey019, and this is another commentary for Gamer's Remorse. And this one is in Drop Zone, new game type. Uh, you can find it under the uh, community matches. Uh, basically, uh, what it is is you go. It's almost like uh, like domination, so to speak. Uh, you get to a, a point, and then you hold the point as mo as long as you can, or you stay on it. Uh, the more people you have on it, the better. You get 20 points per person per second. Um, basically the objective is to get over 7500 points uh, this game type is really good for it's really fast and action-packed uh, basically what happens is every every couple seconds that you're on it you get a care package sent to you and these care packages are completely random it can have juggernaut osprey gunner anything in there um, which also makes it extremely fun I think um, so basically let's get right into it right away um, what I do what I have for my setup is um, the MP7 with rapid fire and kick. Uh, you don't have any recoil at all with the MP7 right now. Um, that's but except for when you have rapid fire. When you have rapid fire, it adds a little bit of a recoil on there. I noticed, and it and it totally eliminates it with kick. Um, so I get that and kick for right now until I have extended mags, and then I'll probably do rapid fire and uh, rapid fire and extended mags with attachments perks obviously and I like to use a scorpion or machine pistol for this I usually I never get a chance to use it really because you don't really live too long um, the lives are really short on this if you're in the game and trying to get more points uh, but if you're trying to get kills then maybe you can get something else but I like to just use a machine pistol just to have it there um, a frag grenade a concussive grenade um, you're basically throwing these. You want to use these every, every chance you get. You want to throw them into the spot to kill anybody that's in there. It's probably a good idea to throw your flash or your stun grenades first to get rid of the blast shield. And then throw your frag in there. I like to do the frag because that way it rolls around in the best location, hopefully, uh, to kill somebody right out of the semtex and you get stuck in a bad location and you don't kill anybody. Um, and then I use blind eye to protect myself because there's a lot of air support. There's always helicopters. Um, Osprey Gunners, H H6s, Re Reapers, all that good stuff. And then that'll just tear you up if you don't have Blind Eye on. Um, you'll still get tore up with the Reaper and the Osprey Gunner and all the other stuff though, because they'll still, if it's manned, they'll more than likely be shooting at the base, obviously, or the, you know, the capture point. So you want to get, you want to make another class, which is my next class here. And that is uh, the L886 light machine gun uh, that's just for some manpower and then I use a javelin to get rid of any air support um, I'm not too worried about helicopters here I'm more worried about um, like reapers and you know like I said controlled stuff um, also as a, a tactical I would recommend the trophy system a lot of people are using this to help get rid of grenades and flashbangs it takes all out all that stuff when it comes to you and javelins because a lot of people like to spam javelins now too and shoot them into the area with a great idea to use that as well to get a lot of kills but if you're using the trophy system it helps get keep you from dying and also if you have the blast shield pro that's another thing that'll help you keep you from dying because you can sit there and take a lot of grenade hits and just sit there and just still get points get those care packages and win that's the whole point of the game so in this game um, basically what's going on we started out losing and this one, this particular drop zone where it's at, is uh, really hard to keep and hold on to because, like as you see right here, my my boys are getting taken out by this helicopter, um, and then they got a guy posted up right at the entrance, and our guys can't kill him. But luckily, it changes, and this is the lucky one you want to get on, Arcadian, because right here you can get right over in here into this truck, and then you could sit there and you get points, and get points, get points. As you see, I'm getting plus 20 there. And then look at my points go up, and the team, the opposite team, is not in there at all. So look at me just capping points left and right here. Totally changes the pace of the game. When I'm sitting here for the entire minute that it's open, I'm getting points from my team. And then my other teammates are able to come up and then also get extra points. So even, they're getting points too, but I'm keeping up because I'm actually on it. And right here, I just try to throw a couple grenades, and, uh, stun, stun grenades, just to see if I can clear it out, but as you can see someone put a trophy system there so it kind of made it useless and uh, so see as you can see I was able to survive a grenade because I'm just hanging out inside the truck I can just I don't take any damage at all from anybody now all the care packages are taken I don't really mind it I just sit there and get it I can I can take uh, 
You know, I'll take the points if I was in the care package. I'll let someone else come out and die for the care package. I don't want it. And then right here, you, you get sentry gun and remote sentry a lot in drop zone. So you want to use it to your advantage. You want to put it in a really good location. Because if you get in a good location, especially remote sentry, and you can control it. Like right, not right there. I think I put it, yeah, I put it a little further in the base. Um, if I probably would have had a better team, I probably would have been a little better off um, using it. Because I use it and it gets taken out right away. But if you get a good spot, you can sit here and you can just take out people as they come into the drop zone. And then you can protect your whole entire team uh, from other people coming in as well. I think that should be able to go through that bush, but whatever. Anyway, it gets taken out here and then I'm, I derp it up and I'm standing here looking out and they get killed. Um, but, I mean, with this whole, I like to use, people don't use blind eye right now is the problem. And I think people need to start using it on my team and not the other team, obviously. I don't want them to use it, but the, it helps so much and then people are just getting murked left and right by, uh, like, helicopters because you get helicopters a lot too in this, uh, Pavlos, AH-6 a lot. So, uh, you want to get that blind eye so you don't get killed by those. Uh, now look right here, I got a really good camping spot. You want to find the most obscure spot. And as long as you still get points, that's all that matters for you. Um, right here, I mean, I'm standing right here, but you can see everybody walking by me. And I, I just kind of give in to the temptation of just killing people. And then I end up dying here, I believe. But, yeah, see, I, if I, maybe if I was laying down, I wouldn't uh, got killed but I would have got more points and you know it's a win win lose situation there anyways yeah the drop zone changes every minute so you want to keep an eye out on where it's gonna go because as soon as it changes over it, sometimes it gets in a really bad location and, it, and ends up being in like the enemy team spawn so you want to be careful and watch where it's going because if it's an enemy spawn they're gonna get it right away and there's gonna be like you know, a couple of them already on it, so it's a waste for you to run in there. You want to chuck your grenades in there, make sure it says, you know, because it says capture, so you want to throw some grenades in there so you know there's going to be some people in there. Now, again, there's another obscure location, but I guess not paying attention. I should have been facing the other way. I probably been okay. Killed you. That whole couple guys there, three of them, but I wasn't, pay I wasn't facing that way, so. You want to, like I said, those weird locations, people don't even expect it to, you know, come in, and you just camp there and gather up all your points um, it's also good you want to get like a good run and gun class because what I'm doing right here I'm running in here and I'm killing all the guys trying to clear it out and then camp again so you know right here I start to get greedy again more kills and but the campsites already gone so I'm like whatever I'm, I'm might as well die anyways that's usually what I do if, I, if it's over and instead of running to it I just usually die and then get to it a little faster and maybe kill some guys in the way there like I just did here. Now I tried to get in my camping spot again right here but not many, they weren't really letting me get back in there. Um, they probably caught on to my shenanigans by then but yeah that should be about it guys for the video. We ended up winning here as you can see 56, 60 to 71, 20 right now and uh, we just we take it we take it in for the win right here like I said if you can get, if you can hold it down for an entire minute, you're basically helping your team a whole lot. And if you can have one or two or three guys in there for the entire minute, you basically won the game already. Um, so maybe they need to fix that. I'm not too sure. We'll see how it all goes. I mean, it's still brand new. There's no leaderboards for it even working right now. So who knows? We'll see what goes on. But. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to respond to them. Uh, I, I have a tournament or a ladder coming up soon. Uh, it's at, located at mw3ladder.com. Uh, basically what it is is right now we have, uh, hopefully we're getting a controller sponsor. And then if we get that, then we hope to get more sponsors in the future. We'll see how it goes, though. It's tough trying to get um, sponsors for something that's starting up. But I'm thinking about going local first, and then we'll open it up, open it up to the public and um, getting as many people on there as possible. Because I, 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 me and my buddies, we use Game Battles, which is part of MLG now. I don't want to bash them, but it's really confusing to use. Like, we're not too familiar. Like, a couple of us aren't familiar with it, but our one friend is. But we're trying to use it. And it's just like, how do you, where do you find a match? Where are the rules at? The rules are confusing. 
the ladders are tribute to other ladders, and I'm just thinking, like, why not make a 2v2 ladder and a 4v4 ladder for Search and Destroy, which is what a lot of, uh, like, MLG-type things use, along with uh, Domination. I want to do that in a longer run, but as a smaller ladder, I want to start out with just Search and Destroy, because uh, I feel like that's more competitive and get your bump blood pumping rather than just Team Deathmatch does. So, in the future, I'd like to have Team Deathmatch and all the other stuff, but... Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Go to mw3ladder.com, sign up, create your team. Um, you get a join link and a, a join password, and you give it out to other people so they can join your team as they register. Um, if you guys have any questions, use the contact us form, or feel free to follow me on Twitter. It's uh, Jimmy B. It's linked on the uh, Modern Warfare 3 Ladder.com page. So just go ahead and follow me and ask me any questions if you guys have any. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time.